She said you're from, from the same worlds? planet, you say two different worlds, yeah. Absolutely. That means that our growing up, our lifestyle, our experiences, the people that we interact with mm -hmm. and have around us is completely different. How's that debatable? Hmm? You debate over that? No. Yeah. We debate awesome. over a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was just a quick Small example. stuff. You're right. All right. Mm -hmm. You're a resident of Israel? I heard her say return back or yeah. a dual resident? Uh, no. Actually, we have legal situations in Israel as a community. Our parents left in the 60s. To move to Israel? Yes. And well, since the then, we've been having Hebrew problems. Israelites? Yes, sir. The overwhelming number of people watching have no clue of what the black Hebrew Israelites believe. And I think it is that they're one of the original 12 tribes mm -hmm. of African descent. Therefore, right. that African tribe is also a part of Judaism. Yes. Did I say it right or you need to add anything? Nope, you said That's it perfectly. All right, <laughs> good. And uh, how did he damage your property? I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom, peace to the elect. Peace to the elect of the Israelites. And I'll say this scattered abroad throughout all nations because that's what I'm going to go into uh, this story um, the brother GMS awakening um, and uh, I think he said someone else another brother brought it out so so lucky if I don't know the, know the brother who actually came from but I know that we are spiritually in tune as one body so I think the point is just to get the message out um, with this uh, situation with uh, Judge Mathis um, I believe it to be an older clip. They just do the reruns. And um, if he said anything about it today, it would be considered anti-Semitism. If he just wanted to admit that who the Israelites, would they look like. Okay. And as the brother went out, he just, Judge Mathis, don't know the whole full scoop. But he know that, you know, the, the root of it, you know, that he's an Israelite. You know, uh, you know I think he knows that. And that's the problem that's uh, given a lot of uh, Christians who hate what we teach the trouble. Because after all, if it doesn't matter and everybody uh, could be saved and it didn't matter, then why even bring up the fact that who the original Jews or Israelites are? I mean, if these people are considered the, the holy people of the promised land and they're the holy people, then they would have heirs to the throne. And if they don't, and everybody can be grafted in, what's the use? Just drop it. Drop the whole act, if you want to call it that. It's an act to you, you know? Let me go to Matthew 26 and 13. It says, uh, let's go to Matthew 28. I believe it's 28 and 19. Go ye, and this is a uh, Christian scripture, which is really our scriptures. Okay. It says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Right? Go therefore and teach all nations. But when you go to Matthew 25 and 32, he says he, he will gather all nations and separate them one from another, as a shepherd uh, divideth his sheep from the goats. So why would he say go all, all nations? But then he said he's going to separate. He's going to separate uh, the the nations. Okay. So let's go. Um, let's clear this up. Okay. Let's go to Acts three and twenty. I think three and twenty-five. This is another scripture that they will pull. Ye are. Let me see what it says. Acts three twenty-five. It says, Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which Yahweh made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. So this sounds like in the seed, and this goes back to what we just read in Matthew 20, 
um, Matthew 28 19 um, through the seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed is what it's saying okay so let's see let's go on down to Acts 3.25 let's go to I'll make this quick uh, kindreds by all the kindreds of the earth that's G3965 Patria or Patria well let me get the uh, correct pronunciation Strong's G3965 Patria Patria okay so that word kindreds and I see that all nations shall be blessed that's why the whole ministry was about going and teaching all baptizing all nations why because the Israelites in Deuteronomy 28 will be scattered throughout all nations and kindreds of the people of the earth so when you read Hosea the first chapter as the brother did bring out uh, 1 in 10 I think Israel shall be as the sand of the sea and you can't count the sand of the sea you can almost count a negro right and you know the top elites know it that's why they separate themselves from us the average so called black and white they, they're separate you know uh, this word lineage running back to some progenitor ancestry a nation or tribe group or family all those who in given people lay claim to a common origin right the Israelites so this is what we read in, in Acts 3 and 25 the kindreds of the earth shall be blessed right because we will be lost right and we will be lost and we will be scattered amongst different nations different heathens and we will be following different customs so how would all the nations of the earth kindreds be blessed because the nations of the Israelites was scattered through all the earth that nations is talking about Israelites it goes on it says the Israelites which distributed distributed into 12 tribes descended from the 12 sons of Jacob right these are the nations that ascended from the 12 sons of Jacob right these were divided into families which were divided into houses that's why it would be considered the nations of Israel right because these were different tribes and different families family in a wider sense a nation a people okay so it's not that's not hard to get and you know this thing with um, Judge Mathis and various others who already know they already know the truth uh, the scripture says you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free and we, we can see that the truth is uh, has made us free uh, as uh, the brother also brought out which I like to bring out and I've heard Elder Yashawamba always bring out as well as long as we gangbangers as long as we thugs as long as we bloods and crips there is no outcry to help the black community when we're killing each other when we're drug dealing and bang gang banging on one another you don't consider that hate these people don't consider this hate they only consider it hate when we stand up and say well look we're the Israelites and by us considering uh, trying to pull us together and fix the uh, broken spirit now we're a hate group this is the sick part about it when he, whenever we were called look Christianity didn't work whenever we was called to be Christians and to be God fearing citizens and get together you don't see this these people as such as vocab alone in the Christians going in the ghettos trying to heal and mend the broken sick in the spirit they don't do that they just go anywhere they, they don't even go into the street ministry they just pop up and they do a video against us so you know the question is is it better for us to come together as a people and realize who we are okay realize who we are so we will stop coveting murder killing gang banging and yeah, that's why the scripture says Yahweh said heal the sick right because that's what we're doing we, we're going to the lost sheep and we're here in Matthew 10 and 5 to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel mean heal them heal them from their wicked way the book of Ezekiel the third chapter says that all, all also warn the wicked from their wicked way you know talking about the uh, Israelites and ultimately the elect we know we was in our wicked ways as well as long as we're gangbangers as long as we're thugs adulterers 
murderers, thieves. There's no outcry. Why is anybody hating that? The Black Lives Matter. They po uh, bring that up. Why no outcry of us killing each other? It only matters when a white cop kills you, but you kill each other doesn't matter. This is the sickness of Christianity. And this is the, you know, the, uh, the, the sad part about us not being together. You know, and this is why two-thirds ain't going to make it anyway. The beautiful part is the elect is going to raise up and be together. Okay? The elect is the ones that's going to get it. The elect Israelites. And as the brother also brought out, is, is Natives Amer Native Americans. They are brothers too. A lot of these Israelites don't believe that, but they ain't out teaching it. They ain't on the highways and hedges and full droves saying the way, uh, uh, that the Negroes only are the Israelites. Why? Because the Lord ain't dealing with them. The Lord ain't dealing with those guys. It's the, the Israelites, the, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're the Israelites. And Judge Mathis know the gist of, of, of a lot that's going down. I don't know how much he knows, but at, at right there, I don't think he could have said but so much where it becomes offensive. And I don't understand it because the people that run the world, they can claim to, to, claim to the heritage. But we can't. We're considered